on the uh, sound selection uh, page. Um, so in this particular one, I want to kind of show you uh, some of the horn choices that we've got. Uh, currently, I have it uh, set for a Nathan K3L, um, which is a pretty good choice as far as uh, what these prototypes were running. Nice, bright, clear horn. Uh, you want to use that K5HL. Just uh, select it, go down, push the program button, and... I've heard better horns than that. Let's try the K5LH. So again, uh, setting uh, the type of horn um, as well as the bell, if you want to speed that up a little bit, again, uh, just select it, push the program button, and let's slow that down a little bit. So again, a lot of different types of horns and bells to choose from, different rates, different tones. As far as sound levels are concerned, um, so you can see right up here uh, in the far left corner, I've got the uh, master volume set on 40 uh, out of a possible 255. I've got the horn uh, almost uh, all the way set at high. Uh, I'll just uh, set that to its highest level. I'll push the program button. So there's that horn. Actually, I'm going to go back and reset to my K3L before I forget. Again, select, push the program button. Nice and bright. I kind of like that. And then as far as levels are concerned here. So here we're at 40. I'm going to dump that all the way up. That's the master volume I just changed. So now everything is going to be louder. That's that's overpowering. Um, that's really overpowering. So uh, you can kind of see why I had that set all the way down to 40. And even at 40, um, that's still pretty loud. <laughs> I mean, more than... Oh, oh that's the crab cab crew coming on and talking with the uh, talking with the dispatcher so anyways guys uh, you can set all of these levels easy peasy um, if you're still dealing with uh, punching buttons on a throttle um, as opposed to using free software on your computer uh, boy it's a uh, that's a hard row to uh, to hoe so anyways guys uh, check out it's easy to use it's easy to set up no more silly CV numbers to remember and keep track of. And then all of the changes that you make in here, uh, you can simply come up uh, just like any type of Windows file. Uh, you click uh, the file button, you save it, everything's uh, saved. That's it. <laughs> Easy. Do it. So uh, anyways, guys, the, uh, the power of... Uh, not only computers uh, that we use in our daily life here in front of us, um, but those little computers called decoders in our locomotives, um, just making the hobby that much more fun. So anyways, guys, um, if you've got any questions, feedback, uh, send us an email, uh, leave it here on YouTube, uh, and then uh, always come on over and check us out at TonysTrains.com. Anyways, guys, be well. Hope you enjoyed.